This is a quick tutorial on how to calculate the amount of excess reagent left over. So I'm going to use the example we used today in class, which was when you're making copper metal from reacting aluminum metal in copper two chloride solution. So in this experiment, we determined that the copper two chloride was the limiting reagent. And we know that it because it produced the smallest mass of copper. So now that we know which one is limiting, we know which one is in excess. It has to be the other reagent. So aluminum is the excess reagent. So that means that at the end of this reaction, all the copper two chloride is used up, but there's some aluminum metal left. And you'll physically be able to see this. The blue color from the solution of the copper two chloride is gone. It's now colorless. And we will have a piece of silver aluminum still left in the beaker. So what we have to do is we have to figure out how much aluminum is used up in the reaction. So how much aluminum is needed by the copper two chloride? Once we figured out how much of that has been used up, we can subtract that from the amount we know we had initially, and that will tell us how much we have left over. So initially, we had 0 0.25 grams of aluminum. And we had 0 0.51 grams of copper two chloride. So here we go. Because we're interested in finding the grams of aluminum used, We are going to start with the molar mass of aluminum because it contains the units that we want. We know that there is 26.98 grams of aluminum for every one mole of aluminum. Now, the mole ratio we're going to use is going to be our other reagent. It's going to be moles of aluminum to moles of copper two chloride. We want to know how much aluminum is used up when we use up all of our copper two chloride. So we know that the mole ratio is two aluminum for every three CuCl2, so we got rid of aluminum. Now I need to get rid of moles of copper two chloride. I know that one mole of copper two chloride has a mass of 134.45 grams. Now I've got rid of moles of copper two chloride. I'm left with grams of copper two chloride. But I know I used up 0 0.51 grams of copper two chloride. So now my only unit left is grams of aluminum. So basically, if I use up all of this copper two chloride, I should be able to find how much aluminum is needed. So, in your calculator. So, for 0.51 grams of copper two chloride, we need to use 0 0.06822 grams of aluminum. In our reaction, we were given 
0 0.25 grams of aluminum. So the difference between these two numbers is going to be our excess. So grams of aluminum to start minus the grams used in the reaction would equal the grams left over or in excess. So 0 0.25 grams minus the amount used will be the amount left over. Rounding to two sig figs, we have 0.18 grams of aluminum in excess. So this is just another gravimetric stoichiometry. You're going from the grams of two copper two chloride, your limiting reagent that got used up, to grams of aluminum that it used up. And that's just how much got used up. So if you subtract 0 0.06822 grams from 0.25 grams, we have 0.18 grams left over at the end of our excess reagent aluminum.